Oh, we got Fab over here. We got him working now. He's he's official employee here. He's gonna be uh putting in inventory real quick. <laughs> not a fan of Air Force at all, but I do yeah. have that pair. I just do not be a fan of the Air Force. You know what it was? Like, like y'all gotta cut the full run of fits out. Like, you know. <laughs> no full run of fits. You heard it. Billy requested a signed pair of Air Force Ones. Billy asked so. about five of us. <laughs> so this the Billy. Hello guys, Frankie Tip out here from Statement in the Cherry Hill Mall. Today we got something a little different. We got Fab here. Yeah. Fab is in the building. He came to shop. So we're gonna shop around, right? You're gonna make a fabulous statement today. You're gonna make a fabulous statement. Let's get it. Yeah. All right. All right, so Fab, let me ask you something. What's, uh, what, what sneaker got you into sneakers? Sneaker got me into sneakers. Oh, um, wow, that's, whoa. Like growing Air up, Max, what was the grip? Yeah, Max is growing up. Okay. It was strong for me, but um, I also took in a lot of influence from like what older guys were like wearing around my way. So, mm -hmm. but Air Max, my, my uncle bought me some Air Max in like fifth grade when he turned me out. Yeah, I, was, I, was I remember Air Max Nike. 90s was my thing too. Yeah, I was a Nike 90, fan. 95s, for sure, for sure. When I first got into shoes too, it was a lot more diversity. It was like, you know what I mean, more brands. Was, you know, right, right. At the time of Divas, the just, humans was, that's was big. Right. Um, Reeboks were big back then. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's a lot of different shoes. Right, right. And then Jordan, of course, was, was huge. So. so, like, you know, trends go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of, like, Nikes and people go to designer a lot and then mm -hmm. streetwear. You know, they, they, they dabble back and forth. You, you think uh, right now is, like, Nike thing or is it a designer thing right now? I think it's different. Different elements for different shoes. I think Nike definitely does, you know, like stay white and stuff like yeah, that in the collabs. Yeah. But I also think that came about because it also became a cool in the sneaker hip. In the hip. Yeah, the sneakers and hip hop started becoming like one and one, one, like parallel. Facts, facts, you know what yeah. So yeah, that's 100%. how a lot of collabs came about. You know, everything from and Adidas jumped on it as well too with the Pharrell and the Kanye. Yep, yep. So like Nike getting Virgil, you know, that was like collabing with a designer. And like, you know, Nike has had collabs with a lot of. Um, bigger brands, you know, yeah. from Supreme to, you know, all type of people, just like all type of designers. They do, they win They're still doing it. You know yeah, they're still doing so, it. It's definitely cool. You know, I, I think the cool part about this, you know, the streetwear compared to the designer is, you know, designer, anyone can go buy it. You got the money, you can just go buy it. Yeah. You know, whether you have the money or not, it's kind of it's a little hard to come up on some, some of these shoes, you know? Like, yeah. for example, I, I like Freddie SBs. Right. You know, how much money in the world you got, it's hard to find that size. Right. I come from up. a different era though. I come from just walking in a store and being able to like, grab it. Like, <laughs> Yo, let me get these. See, time, the, times is changing as it it's is changed. now. Yeah, like so nowadays, cool. you know, it's not even really like in-store raffles like that. Right. You know, you can't even wait in line and be the first dude in line to try right. to get the pair. Now it's all computer bots and all that stuff. Yeah. So it's definitely a different different wave now. I think the sneaker culture has definitely elevated too. So that's oh, one crazy. of the things that helped. Crazy, for sure. That came along with it, elevating, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, yeah. The man and like things go up, you know, the way you gotta sell it changes yeah. too, you know what I'm saying? You got different feelings about them. Sometimes you can see them instantly, yeah. sometimes you go, you, you gotta sleep, sleep on, on it, it together. Or you, yeah, you know yep. what I'm saying? You did different ways. You might Absolutely. you might pass on a shoe. I passed on a shoe a few times and then finally came back and got it. <laughs> I was like, That's you know me this year too many times. And then it'd be shoes that I come across that are like, um, shits that you loved when you was a kid that you might have, like these even, I got the Iversons on it. Yeah. These is like some shoes that, I didn't never had this colorway when I was younger. I had like another one, like a black and gold, I think. So when I ran into this one, I'm like, oh sh yeah, I gotta grab these I love that, I love I, that. You know? So a lot of 90s shits, I, I got a collection of all of the 90s shoes, you know, from Barclays to Pippins to, you know, cause that was another time that was like a real prime time in my sneaker. Like, you couldn't grab you know, them and you can grab them now. Yeah, but even if I did have them, I circled yeah. back and grabbed yeah, them now. Have just kind of like, you know, Nike brought them back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course, and you're not wearing them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. You're not you can. So you got to, whatever they, they retro them, I'll just jump back on them on that exactly. type of time. So. Go check out the back room, show you, show you the stock room and all that stuff. So we got Fab over here. We got him working now. He's he's official employee here. He's gonna be uh putting in inventory real quick. <laughs> he got his little office now. <laughs> so right now we're just checking out the back room. You know he wants to see the inventory, see the stock room, see how much we're working with. Y'all got a lot of shit. Yes. And we got a, and we got a storage unit upstairs too. Another another storage just for so we got it closed, but just for storage because okay. we just obviously I mean you see it's up to the roof. So what, what do you think about these? A lot of a lot of controversy on these right here. And, All right. Yeah. How you feel about it? Comfortable, man. I wore my comfort. Crazy. I took my, I took my uh, son to 
Uh, he did a run race show, right? Like that? Oh, yeah, he, did, he just did Russell Wilson and uh, ran with Jordan Brand. And That's crazy. That they, that they, um, he killed it? Fashion show. Yeah, he, he liked doing it. He's just like his second or third time doing it. So fire, fire. We always put him in it just for him to try shit. You know, yeah, yeah. Kids, you got to let them shoot their shot at shit. Of course, of course. But um, I took him to a water park for his birthday and I wore these mm -hmm. around the park because I, like, I don't even, when you get in the parent game, <laughs> comfort really because it's a lot of time on your feet you walking around them parks and you gotta chase a kid so, whatever yeah. the case so, is I, I tried those out had a great feet day I yes know. sir it <laughs> saves you from being annoyed saves you from being stressed it saves you from your feet hurting at the end of the day so right i i, I can't give nothing but thumbs up to those yeah no, I, I like these a lot at first i hated them when i seen pictures of them and stuff mm -hmm. and then once they like came out and I liked them a little, that was one of the things like I talked about before. I seen someone throw it together. I'm like, all right, they, they're not bad, you know. It's, mm -hmm. And then I tried them on. That that was it. Yeah, that was it for. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I, I wear them more for on a comfort like yeah, like, like on a thing than like a fit. Like yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah not not tip. for a fit for sure. More it's for certain like people that, yeah. who wear them on a fit tip. Like I gotta <laughs> cut the foam runner fits out. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no foam runner fits. You heard it. Yeah. So you picked you picked out some shoes. I see. Yeah. Right. So beforehand, before we got on camera, guys. You know, we did a little shopping beforehand, you know. Ain't and, too uh, crazy. Not I too just, crazy yet. I just got some stuff that I missed. Something I want, wanted to double up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Show them what you got. What you working with? Got some 700s. These okay. are something that I kind of missed, and I feel like one day I'm going to need them. So, yeah, you know, those, those yeah. are the good. The Suns are good. Honestly, those 700s, the way the colorways he keeps coming out with is just, like, they're getting nicer and nicer, I think. These are something I kind of like. It's not from the first. Uh, yeah, this is a, but it's a classic though. It's a classic colorway, like you know what I'm saying? The black and gold is crazy. Uh, oh yeah. These I missed, so I had to I'm, I'm doubling back now. You know, you know what's crazy about those? A lot of people don't notice not two pairs are the same. Mm. No two pairs. So like the way that they cut the fabric, oh, right? Like the, the texture, so, yeah. Exactly, the texture and the uh and the print. No two pairs in the world are the same. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's so unique it's about it. Unique. Yeah. 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 You, always, you always got an original pair. Right. These are so hard. I love these. I just think this color is just the green. Yes, just sir. Fire. Ooh, I miss these too. An ugly duckling pack. <laughs> Got them on. That's I do got them on. <laughs> I'm an SB fan, you know, and like I love the, the crushed velvet and all the different, you know, mm -hmm. just like the stories behind it, all that. You know, there's a, there's a skateboarding company, mm -hmm. naturally, so that's why you know SB did, did their thing with them. A little bit of heat, couple, right? Couple here. joints, couple joints. Yeah, so, um, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the heat case over there. You know, we got the heat case, and uh, we got some clothing. So I guess we'll get into that now. Uh -huh. Go look at some of that stuff and see what we're doing over there, right? Yeah, statement got a lot of. Shit. So it take a little while, like you know what I mean. You got a lot of process this. You got to digest it, <laughs> process it. Then, then get what you want. So speak, you got a clothing line, right? I got like a merch line. You got a merch line? Okay, the family, right? Blood sticker, but it's like you know derived from the family. But okay. It's called blood sticker. Uh, we just do like cool merch pieces. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Hoodies, okay. goodies. Put your own style on it. You design it yourself, right? Yep. Cool, cool. I love that. Team, like, I hate when I walk in a store and it's like they got like. You know, this whole row is all the same shoe, right. different size. Right. And to me, you know, people walk in here, they're like, oh yeah, what size are these? What size you need? Right. And then they go crazy, like, wait, what do you mean, what size you need? I've never heard any store say that before, you know? No, I, I seen you put these on the other day. Oh yeah, yeah I brought those back out. I, I'm, I am not a fan of Air Force at all, but I do yeah. have that fan. Yeah. I have that, because I love that fan. But I, I just not be a fan of the Air Force. You know what it was? You know what it was? Bro, yeah. Now you got them all. The camera is, is, first of all, that's the it's a, it's a, it's a touchable it's a classic. classic right there. Now you're right. What? But to me, it was always like a one-time wear, so it was like, that was like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like in white Air Force, is just too simple. You know, and granted, grant, I like sim simplicity, because simplicity can be key. But like, I don't know, it's just for, they're uncomfortable to me, and that's a big thing for me. Mm -hmm. I like comfort in the shoe. Comfort has became like in my latter years, in my older fab years, <laughs> comfort is definitely key. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I didn't care. I, I could go through the pain if your feet hurt a little bit, or at the end of the day, it hurt. But like now, like I really care about comfort. Yeah. So the designer shoes really didn't care Before about, it was like, about the design. Exactly. The leather, the texture. Exactly. But, you know, Beauty now. is pain, that's the way they looked at it, you know what I mean? So, but Yeezy, Yeezy, I feel like messed it up for everyone. Mm -hmm. Like, when you had the comfort of Yeezy, that's why everyone was buying it, whether you liked them or you didn't like them. I was one of their key sellers. Yes. And he might have, and he's genius for seeing that 
comfort was going to be at the top of people's priority right. because not a lot of people seen that, you know what I'm saying, coming into sh making shoes. You weren't thinking about like, how could I make it feel that people won't, won't, won't mind having a shoe on all day, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And I don't think shoe and designers he hit, are thinking And he hit that. every aspect, realistically. Like you could, you know what I mean, the, the best thing about, that shoe sells itself in the store, you know what I mean? Because it is comfortable and you could dress it up, you could dress it down, you can wear it to the gym, you can wear it on the red carpet. Right. You know, it's a Yeezy, that's it, you know what I mean? So. Got that one in the frame. That's the uh, that's frame. You got that one, right? No, 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 I got the jacket. I got that whole collection was crazy. That's actually yeah, that collection, collection was crazy. Uh, to me, he, was, he asked like four of us if he can get one of the uh, he wanted an Air Force sign or whatever. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, B Billy. Yeah. Billy requested a signed pair of Air Force Ones. <laughs> Billy asked so, about five of us. <laughs> so this the Billy. It is the Billy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. <laughs> I feel like that should be Billy's thing because Billy had a lot of like, uh, like signed pairs of Air Forces. Actually, no. Can you really tell him to like keep keep against the wall? Boom. That's guy. Yeah. Want the bad bunnies? I'm, I don't. A lot of people do though. If you buy sneakers because of <laughs> who they, it is. It's, 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 it's not sneakers. Yeah, you buy. This shoe could be a hundred dollars if I love it. You buy Kylie Jenner's and <laughs> too. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, any like celebrity, if they if they take the time to like really probably get with a designer yeah. and design a shoe, like anybody. Like, like I, I think I think Travis just Scott put their did name it right. To, yeah. Uh, a sneaker and just just run with it, so it don't even be like they actually designed the shoe. Right. They didn't like take the time. You said they just put their name on it to make the money, and I get it. Did, how you feel about Travis Scott's? Like his, his, I, think his I think he does it right. That's what I'm saying. Like the simplicity and then the craziness ones that he killed them. He built the brand of, of it for his shoes that he's doing. He built he did a few shoes, so they like you know what I mean? So by right. the time the next one comes out, unless he just totally bombs, they're gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Right. Get yeah, he's coming out one now, the, the blue ones. Yeah. The fragment ones. I think I want to try the top of those. I had the all the other ones I've had high top and then all the sixes, but I think I want to try the low top with a friend. Go, the, the low top way better than the high, yeah. in my opinion. Way better. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. All together, we got to the closing. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pair of shoes. A couple pieces of clothing. The total comes out to ten thousand three hundred and ten. Oh, we made a statement. Yeah, yeah, you tell. Oh. That's it, baby. Appreciate that. Make the money, spend the money. Go count this up. All right, guys. So you know what he did. What, what did you do? You just said it before. What did you What did you do in the store? You made a fabulous statement. Yes, man. sir. You know so I mean? you guys see what it is? He cashed out him for the squad for your son too. Yeah. He got son. some stuff for the son too. So he cashed out. He loved that man. Family. So the family. All right, guys, so as always, like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. Who are we going to see on the next one? Who, who should we bring on? Mm. Who, who's a big sneakerhead to you? I'm going to plug you on my boy Dave East, too. Dave East? Dave East? Dave okay. He's getting his collection He's getting his collection out? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, guys, comment below and tell Kiss. us who you want to see next. Kiss got to Kiss? Out. Okay. All right, let's do it, then. Appreciate you, fam, as always. Bro. Thank you, thank you. Let's help you get these out to the car now, all right? Let's go. All right.